Hello and welcome. I'm Nate 42 and in this episode I'll be showing you how to update the 3D printer with Skynet. Okay, so I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, what I'm updating it to today is Skynet version 2.3.2. .2. I need to do the update in a way that it will actually allow me to use my uh, bed leveling sensor as well. Um, so yeah, uh, that is something that needs to happen. I've got this one here is called fix2 as well so I'll just open the folder up here and there it is uh, the folder actually comes with Cura which is quite interesting and the 20 millimeter cube which is quite good as well um, the 20 millimeter cube is very useful for actually testing the print and I mean obviously um, it helps you know that your print is, printer is calibrated uh, we have the Arduino software and also Skynet here which is the actual uh, the actual firmware itself. So what you need to do is you need to load up Arduino 180 here. So you go to Arduino.exe and it will just uh, give me a second. And that will actually load up like this. Um, it has actually loaded up with the uh, the Skynet firmware but if you go into File, Open and then you go into the Skynet folder here and then you'd want to go to where it is uh, Skynet this one but before you do that what you need to do uh, with your freshly downloaded one is go into configuration profiles here and you can see the three different types of ANET that you have so this is actually uh, Skynet which is universal for most of the ANET printers uh, maybe if not all of them um, so you go uh, ANET A8 and you have all these things here so the five button keypad is the one that I have which is kind of like the, the, the standard kind of screen the full graphics LCD is actually a full graphics LCD so that one's pretty cool I don't have that one but that one is available if you wanted to maybe upgrade the LCD screen to that you can do that here uh, so you, if you have no auto leveling you want to use this one here if you do have um, auto level you want to use this uh, stock sensor here and then you have the front left sensor here. So it is kind of catered for the one that we use, um, but not perfectly, not not perfectly, no. Um, so the stock ANET sensor, I think, actually does cater for it to be on the back of the machine. Uh, what you need to do is actually print the A8 fan shield that I will talk about in the next video, which is actually one for how to set up the bed leveling, if you want to do it that way. I'll actually show you how to do that now real quick. Okay, so this is the actual uh, sensor mount that we have. It comes like this, and this is the one that I printed. You need to print this before you do any kind of firmware updates because this is actually needed um, in order to attach the sensor to, so you can then calibrate the sensor and stuff like that. It's gonna be very difficult to do it without that sensor there. Check out my next video if you need to find the link to this. I'll put the link in to this actually in this video as well, um, just so that it's easier for everyone to get. So if you go with the stock ANET sensor, which is this one, configuration.h, just copy that and paste it into this folder here, and you'll get the configuration.h here. And then once you load up skynet.ino, here it is. And this is all your stuff. Uh, make sure that configuration.h is in there, if it's not, then you've made an issue with the last part. Go back and make sure that you do that correctly. Um, so you want to go to tools up here and you want to make sure board is ANET v1.0. Port should be whatever COM port your printer is on. You can find out what COM port your printer is on by going into um, by going into Device Manager and then Ports. It will be under here. Um, I think this was my last one that I had the printer on. My printer is actually on the other side of the room. It's not plugged in. I'm not going to live do the update to the printer. Uh, as you can see here you have the firmware so under configuration.h you need to find define actually uh, x probe offset from extruder and you want to set these two ah oh, this one's actually uh, edited out so let's find the next one there it is okay you want to set this to minus 31 minus 39 and then 0 and that will actually make it so that your uh, probe stays on the bed and it doesn't try to reach outside of the bed 
uh, when it's doing the bed leveling sensor and stuff like that. Um, there's probably ways to tweak this to make it maybe a little bit better, but this does actually work for me, so I, I think it's best to, to do stuff that does work. <laughs> and it, I mean, it's, it's working, it's printing perfectly fine, so that, that, that's, that's fine by me. On top of that, there is a few things uh, further down here, and that is this part here. Set the boundaries for probing, where the probe can reach. So you have left probe, bed position, we have 15, 180, 170, and then 15. If the, uh, I, I looked on the thing, this one is actually set as 190, I think, uh, from the website, um, in which it tells you about the, uh, the little bed level sensor holder. So if you look in the comment section for that, it should actually help you out a little bit with that. But yeah, if you, as, as long as this is set to this, uh, when you click on verify, it should verify perfectly fine and not return any errors, hopefully. So as you can see it says here done compiling. When it says that, that means that it is all perfect and ready to go. You just want to click this button here, upload, and make sure you have the port set as the correct port for the printer. Uh, and then it will send it off on its way. And it will go to the printer through that port and it'll update the firmware. And instantly, um, if you haven't updated the firmware before, you'll see it say um, that well, the, the whole layout for the screen and everything would change and it will be the way that it should be. Uh, which is good and this one also does have thermal runaway so as you can see here we have thermal protection for the hot end and the bed I think that means that it's on I think if you edit one of these out um, then it will stop or it, it won't do it but yeah because these are both in here it means that we will actually be more helped with preventing fires from the printer which is always a great thing in my books so that is about it for this episode. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me think. Follow me on Twitter. That's at Nafit42. And thanks for watching.